So no doubt many of you have seen my 360 degree swivel rig for a GoPro that attaches to the top of a helmet. In this video I'm going to show you how I built it. I built this rig from $40 worth of parts, half of which I got from Lowe's uh, and one of which I had made specifically. Here you'll see a 60 inch piece of half inch PVC tubing that I bought in the electrical aisle, some fittings for it, a furniture caster, uh, a little brass bushing, and this funny looking little aluminum plate. That's the part that I had made. All of this will go together and be able to make a really cool 360 degree spinning rig. First up is this plate. Now I talked with a guy on a bicycle forum who was making custom GoPro mounts and he machined this for me uh, for 30 bucks. And as you can see, it's got the two tabs uh, which go into a clip, into a GoPro clip, and then I'm going to mount the caster onto that. And then we'll use one of the little curved sticky mounts uh, to put on the top of a helmet, and this will allow us to attach the rig. This way we don't actually have to put a bolt through the helmet like a lot of the bicycle guys do. Uh, nobody wants to get in a wreck and then have a steel spike inserted directly into their skull. This way, uh, heaven forbid, if something were to happen, the mount would just break loose from the helmet. One thing that I'm going to do that's different from a lot of the homemade rigs you see uh, in tutorials on YouTube is instead of just putting a bolt directly through this piece of PVC, I'm actually going to put a bushing in it that will allow it to swivel, and that's what this little guy is right here. I've got two of these, and it's just a quarter inch brass bushing. Uh, and you'll see in a moment how it's going to go on either side. So first thing, to make the pivot work, we're going to have to drill a hole through the PVC pipe. So it's 60 inches, so I marked a little dot at 30 inches, which will be right in the center of the pipe. Next, I'm going to drill a 3 8 hole. That will accept this little 3 8 brass bushing that I bought in the hardware section at Lowe's. Now I've already pushed in my little brass fitting here on the one side and I have a second one here that's going to push right in and basically just, there we go, shove it in and they actually are just the right size that they fit through this piece of half inch pipe. They touch together and they'll give us a nice base here to make our swiveling action. Next up, we're going to prep our swivel caster. So here I just bought a plate caster. I sent a measurement of this plate to the machinist who made my uh, mount for me. But what we're going to do here is take our Dremel and I'm just going to shear off uh, basically this rivet is what it is so we can take this wheel off. There you go. Okay, now we're ready to marry our pole to our caster. Um, and I'm just using a two inch quarter 20 stainless steel bolt. And basically you just, we just slide the little guy on. And voila. All right. I've attached my swivel caster to this plate and here I just use some uh, four millimeter bolts and nuts that I had and that's gonna work really good so now this guy here is gonna fit into one of these and it basically just works like so Oh, 
And there you have it. This will now clip right in to one of those sticky mounts that go on top of a helmet. It will also let you adjust it. It's a little stiff, but which is good. But it will let, let you adjust it on your helmet back and forth and you'll see why you need that when you use this rig. But this is going to be, but this is going to work out great. So first I have this cap which is just going to go on the one end like so. And uh, I just take a little piece of sandpaper, rough up my surface, and then use a little bit of uh, use a little bit of cement here to glue the two pieces together. If you're familiar with how plumbing PVC works, this is pretty easy stuff. Rub that on there, and voila. Now for the other end, this end, this is going to be our weight end. So this is where the camera will clamp to. This is where our counterweight system is going to clamp to. And for that, I've got something else. This guy right here. Now this is just a female to thread adapter. You can kind of see the thread there. And I have whoop, this guy which threads in. And uh, so I'm going to glue this guy on first. There we go. So now our pole is essentially complete. Okay. Now you're probably wondering what this is for. Well, what we're going to do here is I have an extra little piece of that half inch conduit that I cut off and I'm going to glue that to here. Okay. And then I have this little cap. So what I have to do next is I'm going to drill a hole in the top of this cap to accept a quarter 20 bolt. Okay, so what I've done is drilled a quarter inch hole in this cap. And I've got a few parts. I'm going to take this quarter 20 screw and this washer here. Slip it on, and from the inside, pass it through like so. Then from the top side, add another washer and this nut. Okay, now what this is going to do is form the base for our counterweight system. Now what I'll actually do is apply a little Loctite right here uh, and tighten this down really good. Um, so it's not going to come apart. All right, next up we're going to finish assembling all these parts. So we're going to take this little guy that we made and add a little cement and voila. Now we have our removable counterweight. Now with our counterweight, what you'll be able to do is take fender washers Drop them on, and then I just got a little quarter 20 wing nut that I can thread on, and thus the, the more washers you add, the heavier you make it, the more you take away, the lighter you make it. Now here's the end of our rod, here's our counterweight, and I can screw it on like so. And there you go. Now I like doing it like this because I like the ability to remove this thing. I can still access 
the back of the screw if I have to tighten this up or make any changes. And ultimately, I feel like it offers me a little more flexibility. All right, so now we're going to finish our assembly. I want the camera mount to face this position of our swivel, reason being that it acts as a stop for the camera and it allows a full extension of the arm for the camera to go up. So here, There you go. Throw a washer on this side. And then I'm going to use a nylon nut to hold it all together. And now we're done. I've passed my bolt through, tightened it up. There you go. Now all we have to do is just paint this up and make it look pretty. Now I did a little bit of searching and I figured some people probably uh, aren't going to want to try and find a machinist necessarily to make that plate for them. And I ended up finding this uh, from a website called Vector Mount uh, and they call this a uh, ear... Uh, <clears throat> A GoPro 2 ear 3 8 locking post socket. All right. Well, but basically, this is what shows up. And, uh, well, this handy little guy comes off, and it's got two set screws here. So I don't need that. And uh, what I did was bought myself a 3 8 post caster. Did the same thing, took the wheel off and so on, and I cut the threaded post down. And uh, look at that marries up really nice and then it uses these set screws here and I just make them tight there we go and essentially we end up with the same idea albeit maybe a little smaller but this is something you can do uh, this is a part that you can buy already made it was uh, twenty dollars shipped and the parts from Lowe's that I bought cost 20 bucks, so it essentially makes the whole rig cost 40. But there you go. Um, and that's a nice and clean way to make it. Now our assembly's complete. I've painted the rod. I've added some friction tape at these two points here, right where it drops down on either side, just to add a little bit of cushion when it comes down. I've also added some friction tape here on our camera end just to beef it up a little bit for our camera mount and I've also I've added a little friction tape here on the end in case I want to use a camera on this side as well and remove the counterweight and I've also painted the counterweight red uh, just so you can clearly see or other riders can clearly see a visible point to the end of the rig as it's spinning around now I've attached the sticky mount here to a helmet, as you can see. Now the idea is that you want the sticky mount to be basically right at the top of the helmet so that when you're sitting on the bike, wherever your head is positioned, the mount is essentially going to be in the center. Now getting it completely level is pretty tough and that's where you want to be able to loosen this and rotate this plate back and forth. Um, but here I've got it as level as I can get it for the time being and I've actually removed the counterweight just to give it a little balance but you can see it spin now once we get the camera on and get our get it weighted properly it should just kind of float in this area naturally. So here we are with our GoPro camera and our counterweight. 
and as you can see here we've got it balanced so that the camera is sitting pretty level. Now by moving the camera a little farther back on the pole we'll bring it down or a little farther forward we'll raise it up or if we want to raise it up a little more we simply add another washer to the rear end thus allowing its final resting position to be a little higher. The next important thing that you'll want to do once you've got it balanced and in a position that you like adjust the camera's tilt up or down so that your fr the top of your frame just cuts off at the top of your helmet where you don't see the mount. Once you've got it all set up you can take her for a spin.